They actually, somebody almost did get hurt, but then got uh, a loud, scratchy voice screaming, run, and he ran just in time. Actually, the one guy's dad literally almost got cut in half by one of the panels. They just missed him as he was running. Didn't, didn't look up, he just ran. But that oh, was he it. was in here while he, he was out in the front and one of the other pieces picked up and he was trying to move one of the other ones and I says, you're not going to pick them up. Those pieces weigh approximately 1,000 pounds per, per section because right. they're we're 50 feet long, 16 feet wide. They're, they're heavy. Clean up and start over again. What else can you do? And I say, thank God for insurance, but that ain't going to happen either. So. You don't have insurance? No, nope. Uh, are you so, serious? I'm going to do what they do at the at the corner stores and at the pizzerias, put a little tip jar out in front. But anyway, so let's see what happens. But we don't have any phones or the radio's out because the antenna on the roof went down and we're working off portables and the mobiles in the cars. Amazingly difficult. Um, I've worked here for 27 years and I've never seen it this bad. Um, we're running everything off generators, the fire department's off generators. Again, we have no phones, the village office has no phones. And we're running off our cell phones. I have to say, uh, people have been very patient and certainly very uh, appreciative. And we're very grateful for that. You know, our folks are working hard, doing everything they can, so. Uh, uh, folks have been very good. So we get, they get one case? Yeah, yeah. one case. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.